is doubt and dislike in yourself filling your thoughts and holding you back from what you deserve where you live an unfulfilled life are constantly longing for something more unable to trust those who love you and even show them your feelings because you live in uncertainty comparison and self-doubt shifting between the muddy waters of your depressing past and anxiously anticipating what the future could possibly hold if you want to experience happiness you have to choose to love who you are and be committed to doing this first before you can be successful and not expect someone else to fill a void in your life so what do you need to do in this video i will be talking about how loving who you are rather than disliking aspects of your life is a long journey and learning about yourself and taking care of you is so important because if you love who you are believe in your abilities and capabilities you will attract the right people people who share your vision and ultimately marry the person you choose to become so for those of you that don't know me i'm ava and i help women supercharge sassy self-confidence after a breakup and rewrite a new script to bounce back and live bravely hello and thank you so much for joining me today i hope you find this video useful and i'll be talking about the greatness that awaits in your thoughts and actions if you love who you are as a priority so much of our time is spent dwelling on how we never measure up never fit in or we cannot change so let's go on a self-discovery trip to recognize how responding to challenges experiencing emotions treating others and yourself through practicing self-respect or play an important role in building your self-confidence so the first thing is what makes you different from everyone else those quirks passions the way you think the way you deal with pressure and criticism and even a unique physical feature that no one in the entire planet can duplicate are important qualities that make you different. Number two, the way you see the world, how you interact with others, your interpretations, words and actions will never be lived through anyone else's eyes except your own that's pretty profound right what matters most to you how could you not be that same person you are without all those traits can you think of three features right now that makes you stand out does this make you appreciate yourself more there is only one you when we were young we weren't afraid to create and play without fear or self-doubt but as we grew up we replaced some of our own understandings of life from those around us and the way we experience disappointments heartbreak and loss and often we end up believing we're not good enough to invest in our talents or passions becoming more threatened by the lack of what others have that we don't and live feeling threatened by the opinions of others so number three is how would your life be different if you woke up tomorrow not giving self-doubt any room in your life and began to be do and achieve everything you dream of accomplishing yes i'm serious recognize how special you are no one else has your gifts or talents there is nobody who could be you or even have a perspective as unique as yours you are one of a kind and that is a huge deal so think about this number four when was the last time you did something you really loved do you make time to do the thing you have been putting off for so long that it lights up your sparkle? 
accept compliments. This was something I had to overcome because so often we we'll respond with a disclaimer like, oh, that old dress and have a story instead of simply accepting the compliment with thanks. So the next time you dress up and look in the mirror before you head out the door, say to yourself, you look great today. Go out there and shine. Be a blessing and inspiration to others. So number five is, have you been proud of something you did? And then looked at someone else do a similar thing and started to compare yourself? No. I suggest no worrying about anyone else's business by your own place all your focus into being better than you were yesterday every single day letting go of the past is key to prevent you from dragging all those mistakes around i chose to forgive and i certainly needed grace to be able to forgive myself but as i chose to leave the past in the past and not let any destructive force impact my future Holding on to negativity cannot serve you. All it does is prevent you from loving who you are and being the woman God created you to be, which is to live free, implement healthy habits, embrace your flaws until they become strong points and map out a purposeful life because you believe you can make an impact. So the last thing I'd like you to do is to write a letter to every person you need to forgive then put it in an envelope and seal it there will always be people who try to pull you down it's up to you to summon up the courage and ignore what isn't a fact and someone else's disapproval the moment you decide to forgive and discard those negative feelings the more space you have to live in liberty and start rewriting your story on a blank white so tell me how will you take steps to start loving who you are that includes not fitting in choosing forgiveness letting go and releasing unrealistic expectations because if you want to be brave and beautiful you have to accept yourself I turned my life around and so can you it's never too late if you think you could benefit from support working with the coach can help you identify attitudes and thinking patterns that might not see, seem obvious to you to take you from where you are to where you want to be it takes your commitment to develop character strengths live who you are with value and build your confidence without being afraid to communicate in a fearless but kind way so thank you for joining me today and see you soon